What is up, Mads and Moy here with a Space Trump album review. Today we're gonna to be listening to the new Keys and Crates album titled Cura. Producer Trio from Toronto, Keys and Crates has been around for quite a while. The mainly release on Dim Mac. The most notable song, of course, is Dum Dee Dum, which was one of the bigger trap anthems in 2013, but also they've had a number of great releases on Dim Mac, so they're not a one-dimensional group by any means. Now, while I do believe this is a full album, not an EP, it is only nine songs long. It only is 26 minutes long, so might be a little short. I was kind of open for something a little bit more significant. The only song I have heard is Flute Loop, which I wasn't a huge fan of. It's not my favorite flute, trap, melodic song, so we'll see how the rest of it goes. So let's just get right into it. Keys and Crates, Kira, first reaction. All right, first song is Initio. Definitely sort of a blend between hip hop and electronic music. That's a good sample. Wow. There's so much soul in this, actually. This is something that Chance the Rapper would totally be about. Let's turn this up, Jesus. Love to see someone freestyle over this. That almost more sound like a beat flip of some other song. However, I'm curious if the saxophone horn lead was a sample or they created that themselves and then chopped it up. Pretty interesting first song. I kind of feel like there should have been a rapper on it and I usually don't say that a lot about a lot of songs. However, just feel like that could have used some some bars on it. Uh, next up is Music To My Ears featuring Tory Lanez. Like, Tory Lanez never sounds whack, you know? Tory Lanez killing it. I'm so excited for the new Tory Lanez album, that's all I'm thinking of. <laughs> Shit. Why do I feel like this song could chart? It's a really good performance. Oh, nice breakdown. That was cool. A couple things I liked about that. First of all, I feel like Keys and Crazy didn't need to do too much on that song. Tory Lanez's performance was really good. Classic Tory Lanez and why I'm a fan of him. But also, I'm kind of thinking right now, Keys and Crates, Odessa, and a couple other multiple genre producers can actually blend hip hop and electronics so well. I could definitely show this song to kids that just listen to hip hop, just listen to rap, and they would still mess with it. So. Really good second song. I'm definitely gonna add that. Next song is Do What You Do. Damn, they're cutting it up right now. It's very old school sounding, but it's also has some sort of modern feel to the whole thing. Oh, we're about to get into that groove. Very uplifting handful of songs so far. Oh, I think we're about to get a nice, heavy bass. It's almost like a disco-y funk now. Oh. <laughs> that was pro right there. That switch up was so sick. Wow, I really like that second drop. That's this song's a really good example of how you can blend different genres and make a cohesive song that just sort of elevates all the genres together. Next song is Kira. Only a minute 30. What a short, short album. 
Is this an album? This is their debut album. That album has to be over 40 minutes for it to be an album. Like, Scary Monsters EP was probably longer than this. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that song. I guess it was an interlude track. I'm gonna skip that and just go move on to Glitter with Ombre Perkins. Yeah, I'm adding this right now. This is an ad. That's an ad. Ooh, she sounds like Janae. I need that hi-hat. And again, that groove. This is beautifully crafted, actually. Wow, what what a little breakdown this is. It's like if Disclosure used violins rather than synths. Right down, halftime. Fuck it up, fuck it up. That was a really cool disco house song. I don't think the breakdown at the end was necessary. I think they could have just done a, you know, house outro, cut the groove going, but not a bad one. Next song, Flute Loop. Already heard it, but you guys will get my third or fourth reaction. So let's do it. See, like this. Good Japanese vibes. That music box. That flute. Okay, it kind of bangs. Oh, I like flute loop a little bit, my keys and crates. But we already have a superior flute trap song, and it came out three years ago, and it's called Lotus Eater, and it's by Moramasa. Such a much more elegant melody than the flute loop one. So yeah, flute loop, essentially just not my favorite trap flute song. Next song is Something Wonderful. Oh, this is nice. Or you feel the drums coming in. Very funky bass line. Almost Catronata esque, if I may. <laughs> this is sick. Oh, yeah. This is fun. This is a fun song. Wow. They got the violence all up in this album. That was actually a very pretty house song. I really like the violence switch up at the ends, even though violence have been throughout this album. Still didn't expect it on that drop. Keep me things interesting throughout the song. I really liked it. Next song, second to last, is Harps at Night. Another minute 30. We do our little stretch for the last one, you know. Just get ready to go with a bang. Two interludes and a nine song album is kind of, it's like one too many. I like them more than the other interlude. That's all I have to say about Harps at Night. The last song is My Night featuring 070 Shake. I don't know if I could quite play this at a party. Look. Doesn't stack up to Tory Lanez. I thought for that entire song the dude was saying fondle me, but he's actually saying fo follow me. 
So I kind of threw off that reaction if I wasn't dancing. Baby, fond of me. I don't have anything against that song. It's kind of an offensive party anthem, but it just doesn't seem like the one. Plain and simple, at least not compared to the Tory Lane song. So final verdict on Kira, I wish it was a little longer or just had one or two less interludes. I already heard Flute Loop, which was one of the four singles that were already released ahead of this album. So if someone already heard those four songs, they come to this album, they get two more and then two interludes. Maybe it's not the full forced, maybe it's not the tour de force Keys and Crates album that I would have wanted, but there's a couple songs in here that I'm going to add play around with, listen to some more. Also, Torlin song is a huge winner. What do you guys think of the album? Comment below. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe. This has been the Keys and Crates Cure Reaction. See you guys next time. Uh.